it's time for me to make a little confession. On the 7th of May this year, I shared a photo of my progress on painting the Nord Raiders by Parabellum War Games. But fast forward five weeks, and those same minis were still sitting on my desk, untouched. I think it's safe to say I was knee deep in a hobby slump. However, if you've been following me on Instagram, you are, you totally should be, you may have noticed a sudden influx of new artisan guild models on my feed. So how did I make the shift from hobby slump to hobby happiness? Well, in this video, I'm going to go over my strategy for banishing hobby slumps for good. Kia ora, my name is Nicole, I'm the Wargaming Sorceress, and I've been painting miniatures for just over five years now. But I'm also a trained graphic designer and a lifelong creative, so I'm no stranger to hobby or creative slumps. I found that you need to find the root cause of your slump so that you can actually figure out how to get over it. There are three main aspects that could be contributing to your hobby slump. First, let's dive into your hobby environment. Because personally this seems to be the one that contributes the most to, to hobby slumps. Because if you're not happy with your environment, even subconsciously, it's going to be a deterrent. The goal here is to eliminate any obstacles that prevent you from picking up your paintbrush. So consider the following questions. Do you have a dedicated painting space or do you have to set it up each time? You want to streamline your setup so there's less of a barrier to actually getting started. As you are trying to hobby, take note of anything that is hindering your hobbying and work on eliminating or minimizing these. An example from my own hobbying is that in our previous place, we didn't have the TV in a space where we could watch it and hobby, which meant we often just didn't hobby. So when we had a chance to set up a new hobby space, we made sure that we could watch TV from our hobby desks. And this meant that we're more likely to go and do our hobbying. And lastly, the one that I think is probably the biggest contributor to hobby slumps is is your space just now cluttered with paints and models? Take time to just clear off anything that doesn't need to be on your paint desk and try and create a more clean and inspiring space to work in. After Reducing any friction from your hobbying space, it's time to consider what's been happening in your life that could be affecting your hobby time. It could be a packed social calendar, a new job, health issues, anything that is affecting your time to be able to hobby. Some solutions, depending on the issues you're facing, could be to actually slot in a dedicated time to do your hobby in your calendar to remind you to do it. Create a hobby streak to establish some consistency. But just know, this doesn't work for all people, but it's just one more tool to have in your toolbox. You need to also evaluate your social commitments and consider whether it's viable and whether you need to reduce some of your commitments to allow you to have some more free time. And in the case with health issues, be patient with yourself and wait until your energy returns or find small manageable tasks that you can tackle with the energy you have. In my case, I have a chronic pain condition and I've been dealing with a flare, which often left me with limited energy. In some cases, I simply had to wait until I felt like I had enough energy to do the task or find the small hobby activities I could do and just evaluate the amount of spoons or energy I actually had to do my hobbying. Now, if the first two aspects weren't the culprit of your slump, it's time to take a closer look at what you've been painting lately. Some questions to consider is 
have you exclusively been painting the same army? For example, you are in part of a slow grow league or it's your first army. Are you currently in the middle of painting a particular model and stopped part way? Did you recently try something new in your hobby and it just didn't work or didn't resonate with you? Do you genuinely enjoy what you're currently painting? Have you been using the same techniques and starting to feel bored or stagnant in your skills? And lastly, have you been striving to paint at your highest level, always doing the best paint job you can, and then resulting in feeling burnt out? Now before we go into looking at some potential solutions for these problems, if you've been finding this video helpful so far, I'd love it if you push the like button to let me know and consider subscribing because I have plenty of advice and tips to help you in your hobbying coming up. Okay, so you figured out what could be the problems in your hobbying. So let's look at some potential solutions. If you've been painting the same things or you're feeling bored with what you're painting, perhaps it's time to change things up. Take a break from your current project and try something completely different. Might be painting a one-off RPG mini or a 3D printing a model that you found really interesting on my mini factory or even just painting a bust, something very different to what you've been painting. If it's the colour scheme that you are starting to feel bothered by or bored by, consider whether it's worth starting over or finding some inf inspiration to help you change up that scheme. Definitely finding inspiration on Instagram, Pinterest, wherever you like to look for it can be helpful to just give you that little spark to help you feel some joy and get you started again. Reflect on any plans that didn't pan out as you expected and work on finding creative solutions or alternative ways to do things. Seek out a model that genuinely excites you to paint. For me, this was the Alvarian Woodkeepers from Artisan Guild and I just fell in love with them and was excited to paint them. If you tend to keep with the same techniques, maybe step away from them and try something new. For example, if you always use speed paints, try painting a model without the speed paints. Experiment with different painting techniques that you haven't used before, such as wet blending or non-metallic metal. Conversely, if you've been putting too much pressure on yourself for perfect schemes, maybe it's time to ease up a bit and simply enjoy the process. Give yourself a little bit more freedom and grace to make mistakes and for them to not be perfect. So by exploring aspects of your recent painting and implementing these solutions, you can breathe new life into your painting and overcome stubborn hobby slumps. Remember, the key is to keep the joy and creativity flowing in your hobby endeavors. In my case, for my hobby slump, I realized that with the Nords, the one thing that I was super excited about with this army was painting tartan. And I found that there was no good place to paint this tartan on the Raiders which meant I lost interest in painting them as soon as I discovered that. And I had to come to the realization, sometimes you just have to put away the models because they're not inspiring you at the moment. And there's no point forcing yourself. That only leads to resentment in your hobby. With clear understanding on how to identify factors that could be causing your hobby slump, Let's banish those slumps once and for all and re rediscover the joy of our beloved hobby. Now if you want to try something new in your hobbying, why not take a look at my video about how to use the colour shift paints on your miniatures and make them look good. 